anytime you make a purchase and you can't afford to pay the entire amount at once, it is very common to make a down payment which means that you give them some money up front and then you borrow the rest. So when you buy a house, for example, the bank isn't just gonna loan you every penny that you need to buy. They're first gonna ask you how much you can afford to pay right away. Um, typically, they, they want 10 to, tw uh, 10 to 20% of the payment, um, the, uh, the purchase amount right up front. That's pretty typical. So, um, let's take a look at this example here. Jackie is going to purchase a home for $210,000. She's going to put 20% down. That's called, that's the down payment. And then she gets the best interest rate the bank has to offer at the time, 3.95% for 20 years. So how much does she pay as a down payment? So we need to find 20% of the amount that she's borrowing, that $210,000. So 20% of $210,000 is $42,000 that she is paying up front. Then she's going to borrow the remainder of the money. So the house costs $210,000. She's paid $42,000 right away. So she's going to borrow $168,000. Now, for her monthly payment, this is based off of only borrowing the $168,000, okay? She doesn't need to borrow the full $210,000 because she already paid some of that money up front. So this amount right here, that $168,000, that is the principal on her loan. That's what she's going to borrow. So $168,000 is the regular monthly payment. That's what we're looking for times one minus the quantity, one plus the interest rate, 3.95% over 12, raised to the negative 12 times 20 years for this particular loan, all divided by our interest rate over N, the number of payments we're making in a year. So this is like the last problem we did. Um, we've got to figure out what this quantity here um, being multiplied by R happens to be. When I put that into my calculator, if you want to kind of again check your pro uh, progress, I'm getting 165.741 and a bunch of other decimal places after that. Then dividing um, both sides of the equation by that 165 number I get that the regular monthly payment is $1,013.63. That's how much Jackie will be paying every month for her house. Now, in terms of how much interest she's going to pay, again, we've got to look at that monthly payment amount. She's going to pay $1,013.63 every single month for 20 years, or for a total of 240 payments, if you want to look at it that way. That will be an amount that is larger than the $168,000 she borrowed because everything above and beyond that $168,000 is the interest. In this case, Jackie will be paying $75,271.20 in interest.